Korea. Where are you from? Uh, America, and now we live in South Korea. South Korea? Yeah. Alla, här ska du lägga kompensare i kompletto med en bit av bildone i bildone Vai, eccolo Florence, Italy might have the best sandwiches in the world in this episode, Courtney and I take on two of the most popular Florence street foods. The classic Lampuradero and its much younger contender, the Florentine Panino. Courtney and I are in Florence, Italy, and today we're going to eat some Florentine. <laughs> we're gonna get some Florence street food, which was is basically the panini. So we're oh, going to try panino. panino, sorry, sandwiches. Yeah. They're very famous for sandwiches. Because panino is yeah. what panini is too. So we're going to try tripe panini, which is like the old world style panini, panino, the old world sandwich. And yeah. we're gonna go to a food cart. After that, we're gonna go get, I guess, a more modern style panini, which is a more modern style sandwich which has been open since the 90s. Salami, ham, cheese, special sauce, things like that. Our first stop begins with the classic Florentine sandwich that has been served since ancient times, the Lampredetto. Lampredetto is a tripe sandwich served on a fresh baked roll, smothered with herbs and chili sauce, and then dunked in its own juices. For my Korean viewers, it's kind of like eating a spicy Nejang Tang sandwich. Courtney heard about a small street stall that might serve the best in the city, Triperia Polini. This father-son duo greets everyone with smiles while slicing and serving their tripe sandwich to hungry locals and tourists alike. So Courtney and I got tripe panino. So we're, today we're gonna try a couple different paninis. This is like the old school style. So this is tripe with some spicy sauce. It looks amazing. Oof. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try it. Oh my God. It's so good. I think the tripe has been steaming or boiling for hours and it's so tender. Not too spicy. It's like a little chili oil. A little salty, a little peppery. The bread is amazing. Like, it's really hard on the outside, but really crunchy on the inside. Oh, this is amazing. So this is Triperia Polini, and it started a long time ago, just with a bicycle. Now it's just like a food truck. Amazing. The tripe is surprisingly like, clean tasting. Courtney, what do you think? <laughs> Very amazing. It feels very local. Mm. I can tell there's like a little onion, a little bit of spice. Maybe some parsley or something. Yeah, this is sweet. This is really cool. Mm. This is excellent. 
Excellent, excellent lunch. Excellent sandwich. Mm. Oh, the bread is amazing. Mm. Oh. So good. He's chopping up the tripe, the steamed tripe, chopping it into little pieces, and then putting a little bit of a green sauce that looks like it's got some herbs in it. And then he's also putting chili oil on top, like a little spicy sauce. And you can order it either spicy or not spicy. I would say definitely go with the spicy. It's not overpowering at all. It doesn't ruin the flavor, it helps the flavor, I would say. But this is a 250 euro lunch. That's perfect. Mm. Almost finished. Almost finished. I'm absolutely full after this. It's very rich. Yum. So Courtney and I just had the tripe panini and we were saying the the service there was incredible. They were such nice guys. Almost reminded us of a, it reminded us of a New York street food cart or something. Courtney was saying she thinks it might be the best meal she's had in Italy so far. And I Oh man. All right, so that was old world Florence. But what about something more modern? Alantico Vinal has been serving what might be the greatest sandwich in the world in the center of Florence since 1991. Now, this place is a completely different ball game. Prepare yourself for massive lines of tourists, a creative selection of insane sandwiches, and a bit less of a local feel. Now, I'm not saying one is worse than the other. There is a reason people line up for this stuff, trust me. We are in line for what is considered one of the best sandwiches in the world. Uh, this family's been running this sandwich shop since 1991. They've kind of got this huge reputation for delicious sandwiches. It's pretty cool, they have a self-service wine bar. You can get a glass of wine while you wait in line. It's nice. So I knew that this sandwich was big, but I didn't quite get it until I'm holding it. This thing weighs like a kilogram. <laughs> it's insane, it's huge. This is a massive sandwich. So this is supposed to be one of the best sandwiches in the world. I had my doubts, but now that I'm holding it, I'm looking at it, I can see why this might be one of the best sandwiches in the world. <gasps> Does it have cheese on it? Wow. All right, so I'm gonna just take a bite of mine, which has porchetta. Mayo? Oh! All right, let's do it. Oh my God. Dude, that's just like a flavor bomb. It's like rosemary. The porchetta has a lot of rosemary. I think mine has some eggplant some hummus, some other sauce, just slathered with sauce and cheese and delicious meat. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. It has this really intense like Tuscan um, fennel. Definitely fennel, definitely rosemary. Oh my gosh, dude. This is incredible. Okay. So this one's their most famous one. This one looks like it's got salami, cheese. Mm. Oh 
Oh my god. This is so good. This is insane. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I've never had a sandwich like this. The bread is so chewy, soft in the middle. Mm. I really had my doubts because this one's newer, more famous. Sometimes when places get famous, they're overrated, but they're not. This is the real deal. Um, personally, I like the tripe one better. The tripe sandwich for me was just pure classic, but this is uh, this is a contender. Definitely a contender. Mm. Florence street food. Really amazing. Hello everyone, Courtney and I are in Rome and we're super excited. We got invited on another food tour. So we got invited by Eating Europe. This food tour we're going on is actually in the ancient Jewish quarter. Tour. 